When asked how it all started, I always tell that it all began that day when we went to botanical gardens. We, meaning yours truly, and two of my friends. Whose idea was it to visit the abandoned station? Who persuaded the others to go? I always tell them that I don't remember. I always lie. It is a safe lie. Or there is no way to ascertain the truth. Both Vitaly and Eugene are dead now. The massive airlock doors shrugged and opened with a grinding sound. Opening a road to hell for us and a road into the metro for the demons. But in fact it all started that day when mother said we should take a walk in the botanical gardens and go there by metro. I remember how we took a short escalator to the surface, how we exited a spacious glass pavilion and saw a street buried in green. I remember the small clouds moving across the limitless sky and soft, cool wind on my face. Mother bought me an ice cream. That was the last time I tasted it. That day, humanity was executed. The righteous and the sinful were called to be rendered according to their deeds. And we hid from God's sight in the metro. And we were saved from his wrath. And he apparently decided that flushing us out wasn't worth the trouble. Then he went about his business or perhaps died. While we stayed on this used up and discarded earth and continued just going with it. Going nowhere. I remember so many random, unnecessary things, yet I don't remember the most important one. My mother's face. She died very soon after the war started. All that remains of her is that day in the gardens. How I wished I could recall her face. The way she looked at me. The way she whispered that I have nothing to fear sell my soul just to recall that. I'd do that any day, any time. And I did. The Dark Ones came much later, from the garden's direction. The Dark Ones, huge, towering a full head over the highest man. Nightmarish creatures, creepy as a man turned inside out. Monsters born to destroy us. The word was they were incredibly strong and unnaturally evil that with bare paws they could tear armed men apart. Hm. That's all lies. Ah! Truth is even scarier. Well, I used to live nearby. Before the war, I mean that. Up there. I was on the train when it happened. I tried calling my family, but couldn't get through. What the? What happened? 
Shit! 